Hey YouTube, this is Zach with the Gillies Financial and today I'm going to address the question of why are bonds so important to the stock market? Right now we're seeing something that I have personally never seen in my investment history, which is the rapid rise in rates coming from the bond market. You can kind of see here in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, the Treasury 10 year. This 10 year is the one that a lot of people are looking at or watching and are overall interested in following. One of the key things to, to consider or the conversation that we're having here is if bonds are going up, isn't that good? Because again, one of the reasons these are going up is because there's been some decent economic data. There's more reopening across the United States from a COVID-19 restriction perspective. There's a lot of positives associated with bonds going up historically. However, one of the things that are concerning right now is the fact that they are going up so quickly. You can see that back in 125, right at a month ago, the rate was just north of 1%. And this growth has come a nearly a 50 basis point jump during the same time period that we've had congressional conversations associated with stimulus, as well as we just had the Federal Reserve conversation of essentially uh, they are not going to be slowing down spending at any point in time in terms of buying some of these treasury yields. So what does that look at? Right now I am on TD Ameritrade, which is where I do all of my trading. If you go into research and ideas and go over to the bonds, you can see the same screen. I just click on overview again, just to showcase that this loads up here. You can see that here on my screen. So there's a lot of interesting information here. You have to understand that bonds and stocks, while they're both talked about in terms of investments, they are not truly the same type of investment. Again, stock is providing you ownership of a individual company. The way that you anticipate making money on that ownership is that you are going to have some appreciation as the company grows, you would expect the stock price to grow, as well as what you are going to be doing is potentially expecting dividend payments, which would be your percentage as part owner of some of the net cash flow. So if they are profitable, you would be getting some of those profits. And again, that's why most people invest in companies is they want part of that ownership and these high flyers or they want that consistent income from cash flow positive companies. Bonds, on the other hand, over here, these are essentially a loan. Uh, for the most part, when people talk about bonds, especially what we see right here with the US Treasuries, this is coming from the US government. So this is essentially a loan from the US government, and this is going to be something that you get annual payments on or monthly payments. Uh, generally speaking, these are coming from a monthly payment uh, to put that in perspective, again, if you said right now the 7 to 10 year bond, really the 10 year bond for U.S. Treasury is the one that a lot of people are watching. This is going to be the one that if you gave them $100,000, you can expect right at $1,400 back. However, the reason that people like bonds, the reason that people talk about as you get older, why you may invest in bonds is because the idea that the United States Treasury is going to default is fairly ridiculous. I say that with some asterisk next to that, but the idea is, hey, if they run out of money, they can always just print more, and if the past 12 months has not been indicative of that, then where have you been? But the important thing here that we're watching is this rate has gone to 1.445 for a 10-year bond. So why is that causing the market to go down? Why is that such a big deal? So think of it in terms of if I am giving a loan and I have guaranteed income, the expectation is that I would want that guaranteed income. I like that idea, I like that momentum. You can see we've been bouncing around, I'll do the 10 day, bouncing around the 390 to 392 mark. Even here at close, we were, or at one point we're close to the 390 came back, touched it today, and then we're down again. The reason why people are moving, or I say people, really what we see right now is big money, okay? This is not the retail investors. This is not the Zacks of the world. This is not the subscribers here on this channel, but this is big money, think funds in particular. Not hedge funds, but mutual funds, growth funds, people managing trillions of dollars in assets. When they move money to bonds, you have to ask yourself, well, why are they doing that? 
So if I can look at the bonds that we just had and see that the rate has gone up to 1.45, in some cases 1.5, and then I look at the S&P 500. So this is just a overall index that is tracking the entirety of the uh, United States top 500 largest companies. You can see right here that the annual dividend yield, so the safe money right here is right at 1.45%. So what is the risk that you see here on this screen versus what you may see with bonds? Well, if you look over to the left-hand side of your screen, there's a lot of risk if your entire equity position can drop by as much as 40% in the course of two weeks. However, the idea behind the bond market is that you are not going to have that same risk. Now, on the reverse side of that, you don't necessarily have the same upside risk, where again, if we look at the past three years, you would have made a lot of money and missed out a lot on the bond market if you had invested there as opposed to invest in the US stock market. On the reverse side of that, again, you can get a little bit more intricate and pick individual companies, but this is the key idea right here, is that if you invest in companies or broader indices, you're a passive investor, then this is beneficial to you. Just say, hey, if I'm on the reverge of retirement, if I've got a million dollar portfolio, then my bond income by itself is going to pay you a guaranteed $14,000 a year. However, if I'm looking at the S&P 500, my guarantee may be that $14,000 a year just looking from the dividend. However, right now you see a V right here. What we're not seeing in this graph is what happened in 2008 and 2009 where you didn't see that V motion. Again, I don't think that a lot of newer investors understand how big of a deal this is right here in terms of this level of movement. We saw a 250 to nearly 400 and right at six months. So this move is massive. However, if you saw during 2008, 2009, the stock market went down for nearly an entire year and it didn't get back to those 150 levels that you see right here until three years later. During that point in time, you have to remember that there were a lot of people who were on the verge of retirement who were no longer able to retire. This is why if you look at any retirement planning through a Vanguard, through a Fidelity, or a lot of these bigger investment firms, they have you targeted on splits between bonds and stocks to protect those investments. So all of that being said, the key reason why we're seeing this huge rotation, especially out of tech, is because if I can go and get guaranteed money that's going to beat my current return from just having it sit in the bank account, safe is a whole lot better than some of this volatility, especially when you have these crazy valuations. Uh, one of the companies that I shorted very heavily today was Tesla. And this is a prime example that a lot of people are looking at is some of these crazy high valuations. When you look here at the summaries of the PE ratios of 1100. There is a lot of air in this bubble. Now that being said, I think that they could continue to go all the way back up to 800 and 850, and I am more than content to play a stock like this, but there's a lot of air in this bubble, and I wanna make sure that my exposure is not my entire portfolio should that get popped. This is just an example, but the whole market is there right now. Again, another company that just announced earnings that had a massive run up is this company doesn't have a PE ratio, but plug power because they don't make any money. So if you look at a valuation perspective of price to sales, they're trading at 80 to 80 X sales, despite the fact that they're again, if we look at the growth rate every single year, they're losing money. So this is kind of just some of the examples. But all that being said, what are we doing in the market? If you look at, again, the, the rapid rise, you've seen this huge rise in the safe haven for money, and that's not necessarily seen the same rise in the less safe stock market, again, where there's a lot of volatility. So that's what's going on right now. That is a prime example of why we're seeing this rotation out of tech and this rotation out of some of these high flyers. So. All that being said, feel free to check out in the description, the Discord, to see what I'm buying, how I'm playing it, what we're shorting, what we're buying. There's a lot going on right now. And again, what you can see here is the huge difference in reasoning why we may be looking at bonds, although personally, I'm not going to. 
But if you have any questions, drop them down below. And if you found this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd love to have you join the Discord as well. Thanks. Talk to y'all later.